Our grandma's coming over this weekend, so we're getting our place cleaned up. Because our grandma thinks we're crazy for living up here. Our gardening season is done for the year. We've already had a number of hard freezes at this point, and Cedar has done what she's gonna do with any of the remaining vegetables. It's just a matter of getting things cleaned up before snow. At some point in the not too distant future, we had some pretty major winds come through that tore the plastic up on top of the hoop house. But by that point in time, the garden was established well enough where it really didn't matter. I think next year I will build a more permanent greenhouse and see if we can't make it last into the winter. Cedar's parents are coming to spend a couple of days with us at the end of the week. And as much as she has learned to tolerate the way that I do things, I know that taking a couple of days and cleaning the place up will more than make her happy. I have a bad habit of running from project to project to project and not taking time in between those projects to clean up the first project. At some point it always becomes too big of a mess and I can't find my tools and I'm forced to take time and get organized so I can actually find the tools that I need. Now that we've got the places cleaned up as it is, 
I'm very tempted to go spend some money on a nice, very large toolbox where I can actually have a designated spot for my tools. I can remember when we had our own plumbing company, I always made more money when my truck was organized. I always made more money when I knew where my tools were and I knew what parts I had on my truck. But yet at this point in my life, I still make messes. I got a brilliant idea. Since my parents are coming this weekend, and now- I should go the... stay at the cabin? Sure. That's your idea? Sure. But first, before you can go do that, um, let's put all this in the garage. What do you call it? Shop? It's not a garage, it's a shop. Let's slash There's whatever. <laughs> well, okay, what's the difference? Well, what's it's bigger. Do... The shop's bigger. I don't know. The shop you is a place that you shop. No, shop is where you pile all your crap that you're never going to use. Okay, so wouldn't that be awesome since kids are in work mode? Let's get done. I don't care. You tell let's me. Let's do it. The front porch is a great example of piling things up until I don't even know what I have anymore. Every once in a while, Cedar will go through my stuff, organize it in the best way that she sees fit, but I still have no idea where my stuff is. This is a great opportunity for me to make some major changes, create some designated places in the shop where tools are supposed to be, so I don't spend hours looking for things that I can't find. Every once in a while, I have to remind Rhett that he's still 15 years old. My dad was very physical with me and my four brothers. Usually at the end of the day, I can remember us lining up, waiting for our turn to challenge our father. And usually one of us ended up crying at some point in time, but it was a good stick to measure ourselves against as we grew up. Me and my brother still do this. Cedar doesn't like it when me and Rhett start horsing around, but all that I typically do is remind him where his place is in the world. I can remember when I first started dating my wife, sitting around telling stories about me and my brothers fighting and realizing that these stories I was telling was not normal. Not all boys fought the way that we fought. The worst fights in my life were with my brothers. And the irony is, these guys are my closest friends, and I know they'd do anything for me. Sometimes it's good for a person to understand the consequences of doing and saying certain things. I hate fighting, I hate confrontation, but I'm not afraid of it. Well, as a family, we got the uh, shop nice and cleaned up yesterday and the front porch uh, hasn't looked this good ever. And Cedar is gone for the day. 
um, with Callie and with some family down south to a uh, baby shower for our niece. And uh, the weather sucks. It's trying to do something, snow or something. It's cold. And uh, her parents show up tomorrow. So I felt like this is as good a time as any to finish all the tin accents across the front of the house that I've been uh, waiting for just the right moment to do, I guess. Uh, the trick is gonna be getting the three lower boards off, hopefully without um, breaking them up into too big a pieces because I have to use some of that. Now I do have a little bit more of this wood. This is Doug fir uh, that I bought a few years ago and uh, I really wanna try and get it off without doing any more damage than I have to. But I used ring shank nails when I nailed it off. So that means it's uh, not gonna come off very easy. So anyway, good day to do something under the front porch, I guess. Cedar still gets nervous when me and my little brother Stuart are in the same room together. She's always worried something's gonna happen and it usually does. Although it's all done in love, we're constantly goofing around with each other when we get together. Red is at that point in life where he's trying to figure out just how big and strong he is. As his father, it's my job to help him figure that out. So that's it. So it's way better, right? It's way better, right, Reed? Okay, I'll be on the front porch. I can remember one of the first times that I got beat up for saying something that I shouldn't have said to one of my brothers. Ironically, I thought twice about saying that the next time I wanted to. Is there a place with sun all year round And pina coladas With pretty faces and sand on the ground This ongoing train Before I lose my mind and go insane I don't want to sleep every night I want a lot of spark in the dark I don't want to say I'm okay Living the same every day Come run beside me, let's take off Let's leave this place for another place. Oh, maybe all we need is difference. It's hard at this speed to see anything. Just tell me what you need. 
it seems like those days are dead and gone. It seems like we live in a world without consequences when it comes to things being said. Social media has created a world where people can say whatever they think they want to say without recognizing the hurt, the pain, or the anger that potentially could come with that. I prefer the old days. I prefer talking about things face to face. I prefer the good old days when a person could sit down and discuss something with somebody, looking them in the eye and learning the social cues that have been forgotten with the advent of social media. This is all that remains of the original corrugated tin that I took off of an old mink shed that was falling down. I saved just about enough to finish off the house and maybe a couple of extra pieces. Okay, Reed and I are on our own tonight. Uh, Cedar and Callie went down south to a baby shower and all day long, me and Reed have been talking about eating a really nice dinner of what? Steak. So we're cooking steaks, and then we're gonna watch what? Cowboy movies. We're gonna watch cowboy movies. That's what guys do. Uh, I'm also gonna cook some scallops. I don't think Reed's gonna be crazy about the scallops, but we'll let him try them. Um, we recently partnered with uh, Butcher Box, and this is one that I wasn't expecting, and man, I'm sure excited about it. Uh, so over the last few days, I've been uh, eating uh, the best grass-fed beef that I could be possibly be eating. So, Reed has wanted to have a steak. We're gonna throw it in the old cast iron pan here in just a second. Then we're gonna sit down and watch us a John Wayne movie. 